Welcome everyone, here is the best screen recorder for iOS. Real quick, let's activate screen recording. You do this by opening up the settings app. You're going to scroll all the way down until you see control center. I already have screen recording as you can see under included controls, screen recording is on. But for you, you will need to scroll all the way down until you see screen recording. Tap on this one and now screen recording has been enabled. So once screen recording has been enabled, let's use the best screen recorder. So this right here is record it. I'm not paid for these opinions, okay? I personally use the screen recorder. It would be nice if I got affiliate sales, but uh, the developer does not offer that. So this is a free download from the App Store, but just keep in mind, there is a pro version, and the pro version is what makes this screen recorder good. I'll cover a free screen recorder in a bit, but once you have downloaded, record it, you can see we have the resolution, okay? And the problem is, right now, in the free version, you're not gonna have a good recording experience, okay? Because they cap the video resolution to 480p, which is low, and the frame rate 60, which is cool and all, but you really want the higher resolutions. So if you aren't willing to pay, I'll cover the free recorder in about 20 seconds, but let's just open up settings. And in order to upgrade the Pro, okay, you can see it's 449. They, they raised the price from last time. But I've personally paid for Pro. You can see I just restored the Pro version because I really like the screen recorder. So now we can set the highest resolution. And when we want to start the recording, we just tap on this here and we see the screen broadcast. I'll go into this in a second, but what if you don't have money? What if you want to use a free screen recorder? So Apple actually bundles in a screen recorder into the iOS operating system. There are some downsides, I'll cover it. But in order to activate the iOS screen recorder, if your iPhone does not have a home button, you're gonna slide down from the far right hand side of the screen. If your iPhone does have a home button, you're gonna slide up from the very bottom. You will now see this new recorder icon, long press on this one. You will see screen recording Tap on photos to select it. And this is the iOS screen recorder. You have the microphone. You can turn on the microphone, off the microphone. If you're wondering, the microphone is you speaking. Make sure before you start the recording that silent mode is off, okay? So that system sounds are captured and make sure volume is on your device. And then when you're ready, uh, good to go, you just tap on start recording for the recording to start. So this screen recorder by Apple is great if you were just recording the screen, you're opening up apps, etc. But if you plan on playing games, the Apple screen recorder is not, uh, you know, suited for purpose. The reason why is because even though it's going to record the screen at the native resolution of your device, the bitrate is extremely low. So bitrate is how many pixels are captured per second on the screen, okay? And unfortunately, uh, the iOS screen recorder has a low bitrate. So if you've ever watched a live stream and the stream looks blocky, even though they're streaming at 1080p, that's because the bitrate is low, okay? So every action again you do will be recorded with this iOS recorder, opening up apps, games, etc. When you're ready to stop, you can either tap on the red bar or you can slide down from the top right and then tap on this red icon here. You will see screen recording video, save the photos, and now we're good to go. So going back to the page recorder, this recorder is great if you want to record gameplay, okay? So me personally, I run a Call of Duty mobile channel. I use this screen recorder right here. I'll give you some tips and tricks if you are planning on actually using this recorder uh, so you get the best quality videos. So what you do, set the resolution to the highest, set the bit rate to 12 Mbps, and set the frame rate to 60. Then tap on the red icon. You have the microphone toggle, which is the same as the native one for, you know, you're speaking or not. And then you have start broadcast. Just wait for the uh, countdown. And once you see this message here, you can now go home, go into your games and have some fun. So the tip I was talking about earlier, if you plan on recording gameplay commentary videos, by default, the audio of the game is just gonna be too high. So when you're speaking, you won't hear anything, okay? So the solution is very simple. Don't try and change the actual volume of your iPhone, that won't do anything. 
In the games themselves, there will be an audio setting, okay? Call of Duty has an audio setting, which does not involve changing the actual audio on your device. You want to change the audio to 33%, and when you do that, when you speak in a screen recording, the viewer will be, will be able to hear you speaking, and they will also be able to hear the gameplay. If you would like to see an example of me using the screen recorder for a gameplay video, so you can see how good or bad it is, I will have a link in the description for a video recorded using the recorded screen recorder, and also another video, gameplay video as well, which was recorded using, uh, using the native iOS screen recorder. So if you're like, do I really need to pay? Well, check out both videos, look at the quality, and see which one you prefer. So when we, uh, when we want to stop the recording, we can either tap on the red bar like before, we can also open up the app and tap on stop recording. If we use the app to stop the recording, it will give an error message, okay? But that is just because you can see, see user message. stopped recording manually. So now we see the preview of everything I've done. What you want to do is just tap on share and then tap on camera roll and then allow access to all photos. Now, if you are actually planning on using this recording uh, screen recorder to make videos, then what I do recommend is you cut out the fluff. So in order to do that, open up the photos app and let's say this commentary here. What you're going to do is let's say you were planning on playing a game. Just tap on the edit and you just want to cut out this garbage here. Okay, so I'm in the app. Let's just say I'm going to move to here. So I want the video to start when I'm in the control center. Maybe for you, you want the video to start when you're playing a game. So see this little arrow? Just drag that arrow till you see the beginning, like the actual beginning. Tap on the play to make sure this is good. And you can also cro crop the ends so we don't have me opening up the screen recorder. Okay. So when we open up, we just remove that. Boom. So now I'm not opening up the screen recorder. You know, viewers will click off if they see that and I'm not stopping the screen recorder, which will help with the watch time. And we'll just tap on done, save video, and then that will remove the fluff. On top of this, if you're recording a gameplay video, you may notice the start of the recording is in portrait mode. And then when you go into the game, the game is like, it will show landscape here, but it's portrait, if you know what I'm saying. So what you do is you tap on edit, Tap on this tool here and just rotate the video, right? And preview the gameplay itself and just make sure the gameplay is in the correct orientation and then tap on done. So let's say this is the game here. When I go to landscape, the game will actually be in landscape mode now. All right. Uh, you don't see these tips and tricks on these YouTube tutorials, uh, but you're using screen recording probably to make videos. If you want to make good videos, just follow all of that advice, and I think you'll be very happy with the final result. So with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.